One, two, three, four, five, nine, seven. I don't read, I don't read two, eight, four, yeah, three, breakfast, nine. I am what? so confused. Seven, six. I like having fun. I like to laugh. I like to meet people who can make me laugh. I like having fun. Yes, I like it to laugh. I like having fun to meet people who laugh. All righty then. Who said that? Who famously said, All righty then, Doug? All righty then. All right, right then. Oh, Drew Carey. Drew Carey. Drew, no, Jim Carey. The I mask. Ladies and gentlemen, it is that time of day. It is Thursday, in fact. Look at, look at Jack. It's Thursday, June 23rd. It's summertime. School's out. High school's out tomorrow. Uh, I love being able to play with that. I love the timing of that. I love... The creativity of the strategic marketing concept. School's out. School's out. What school? Oh, my kid's school? No, no, no. My new record, high school. <laughs> kind of clever. Kind of smart. Kind of good that we didn't put that out in fucking the middle of the school year. Ooh. Like an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> kind of smart. And you'll see it in the sales. You'll see the, you'll see the fruits of my labor paying off when the sales report comes in and we find that we've made a number one record once again. It's charting very high. It looks like it's going to be a million seller by tomorrow yeah. night. What an honor to be here <laughs> delivering <laughs> you a podcast, a TV show, a YouTube experience. Some people watch on Twitch. I don't know who those people are. I'm not, look, I'm not kidding. I'm going to be Biden. Look, I'm not kidding. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not joking around. There are people who do watch on Twitch. But... We like to focus people on one place here today. I got Twitch. hairy legs. So, oh God, we got a couple no, diehards on I, Twitch. I, I, no, 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 look, Jack. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not kidding around. I'm, I'm being serious. He hasn't. Not at all. I wrote the bill on the environment. But don't let up now. Now, now pay them more. Oh. Cozy guy. When in doubt, I have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Hey, we're we equal so opportunity goofers, right? We go, we goof on whoever's in charge, whoever's you sitting at that some critique. Right. top seat of power. I'm not some kind of partisan hack. I'm friends with George Bush. <laughs> <laughs> now, I do want to welcome a couple people to You're the show. Sick, He's sick. been, this would be an on-cinema move, but I, I never regard you as a full He's been on the show a few times. You have been having him here. <laughs> He's talking to me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mr. DJ Doug Pine. Hey. And of course, I'm bacon French. Wearing a new hat. Trying it out. <laughs> Trying it out. What do you think? What are you going to land on the look? Because well, I think this is it. This is, I've worn this hat before, but I haven't worn it like this. Yeah. So this and where'd you get like, the Death Row Records? Shirt? I got this at a store. They had it. They had oh yeah, it at a t-shirt shop. <laughs> is that Suge Knight? I went to the fashion. Yeah, real he was Charlie Rose over murder, here. Suge yeah, Knight. It goes, it goes, it goes to his fund in jail, and he can buy whatever he it's wants. Just with the, it. the hat to me is a little, little howdy doody. A little howdy doody. It's a little howdy doody. It's a little. I, I like Woody howdy from doody. Many, many people you like it. You watch you watch old howdy doodies. I just got the howdy doody box set. Good shit. Whoa! Somebody Sorry wants to get that. out of here on time. Not on. It's not course, personal. That was it. 
club. <laughs> sitting in on keys. Sitting in on Alicia Keys. Who sings this line about Alicia? Because I was thinking about Alicia Keys. <laughs> Trying to get to. Um, she was born in Hell's Kitchen. Um, that's a that's a line from a Dylan song, "Thunder on the Mountain." What the hell are we gonna do with those men? <laughs> <laughs> My frequent musical collaborator, we now have two records under our belt as a, as a collaborative team. Mr. Drew Erickson on the Nord Stage 3, coming in from the empty high school uh, hallway. Finally got ourselves a Paul Schaefer over here, Drew. Use the microphone, please, oh. to say hello. <laughs> Hello. Good morning to Good you. Morning. Thank That's you very much. Sing. I can usually use a nice tinkle. Now we've seen Drew before. You accompanied Natalie Maring, Wise Blood, at the big uh, what was that show? Live show at the Dynasty Typewriter. Does she go by Natalie Wise Blood these days? I said <laughs> Natalie Maring Wise Blood. <laughs> oh, okay. Sorry. Hyphen. <laughs> and not a man of many words. But we'll try to. <laughs> you speak with the keys. I speak with yeah with the Nord. He's so a man of many fingers. <laughs> that is pretty. That's a pretty tone. It's like kind of. Ooh, sour note though from you. No. You want to tune up? The goal. Why don't you tune up? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> no you're here. I'm here. Yeah. You were uh, instrumental, uh, co-producer. Played played that played a lot of m m instruments on the record. Keyboards, guitar, right. and a little bit of drums. Right, they kind of rotated. I'm actually quite good on bass. <laughs> you didn't play any bass on the record, Capiche? No, 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 I didn't. <laughs> no, I played some guitar. Well, listen, yeah, you bit. did. A notable guitar, which we'll talk about uh, now. <laughs> we also have somebody special sitting in the control room. I don't know if he's there, if you can hear us. Are you there, control room? Ground control, give me some ground control to Major Tom. Is that mic on in that control room? Ground control to Major Tom. We'll sing. Right. Check ignition, countdown's on. I like the ground flute. control to Major Tom. Hello, hello Major Tom, it's me. It's a guy in the control room. Commencing countdown engines on. Hello, it's Mr. Master. I don't really remember what it does after that, though. Be my addition and may God love me with you. Da dum da ka dum six. There's, give me the Joe Rogan countdown. Oh, there we go. There Commence. it is. There it is. So yeah. 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 This is ground and then D7. control to major time. I'm back to C. I'm getting very scared. Nine. Eight. Seven. <laughs> six. Five. Right, Three. Two. <laughs> one. <laughs> Countdowns on. I should just look up the lyrics. This is an annoying song title. It's Space Oddity. <laughs> space. What should we call it, David? We'll call it Space Odyssey. No, Space Oddity. See? <laughs> it's a pun off the movie, the Stanley Kubrick movie, you see? Yes. <laughs> that's how we're going to play it. This is Ground Control to Major Tom. This is Ground Control to Major Tom. You've really made the grade. And the papers want to know who shirts you wear. Now it's time to leave the capsule if you dare. Imagine the uh, imagine ground control telling you that. It's One. time to leave the capsule if you dare. <laughs> what are you talking about? If I dare? Excuse me, I thought you guys were here to help. <laughs> but then Major Tom chimes in. This is Major Tom to ground control. I'm Eight, stepping through the door. Seven, six, and I'm five, floating in the 
most Sitting in a tin can Far above the world And then be flat Planet Earth is blue And there's nothing I can do There's a big breakdown Oh, you can't do it. I'll have to do it. Oh, oh. It's a big one. <laughs> we could have rehearsed it probably. Yeah. Didn't we? Well, it was not discussed. Yeah. Anyways, that's our show. Thank you for tuning. <laughs> I'll be doing that on tour all summer long. I just need to give you a list beforehand. I know. Well, well. we do have a. Spe is, is ground control there? Ground is control it? is up. Let's bring it up. Yeah. yeah. That's how we started on this journey here. <laughs> He's there. Here's ground control. Whoa. Hello. Hello. Oh, what? As Hello. usual, I can't see the. Hello. Hello, Mr. Burger. Hello. He's, in, he's in space. Hello, I'm lost in space. Not to <laughs> you are. Yeah. Anyway, you're lost in the space between your ears. Yep, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Mr. Burger yeah. is here. He will be joining us in the second half of the show for a command musical performance. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Warm up your pipes, Dad. Okay. <laughs> okay. La, 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 la. How about this? Uh, how Big about Burger um, is an American treasure. The uh, David Bowie with the callback. To, to ground control in the song Ashes to Ashes. Yes. Pretty cool. Ashes to Ashes. We know Major Tom's a junkie. That's Major cool. Tom's a junkie. But in the <laughs> song Space Oddity, the impression is that, ground, that to Major Tom has gone off uh, into space and to never return. He's not coming back. No. Yep, I mean, ground control, your circuit's dead. Yeah. There's oh. something wrong. <laughs> oh. Can you hear me, Major Tom? So, I mean, the only way out of that is to either let it happen to you over a few days, or do you have, like, a suicide pill or something? You know, like the... That's a great question. Right? And, by, and it reminds me of this important thing to bring up. I am in ve very much enjoying a program on Apple TV called For All Mankind. Wow. Highly recommend. Hmm. What's well, about, Jake. Here's the premise. Get this. It's, it's set in the late 60s. It's set at the NASA, the Apollo missions, and everything like that. But hmm. it's sci-fi because... The twist is, the Russians get to the moon before we do. Mm. They faked it before we did. Easy with this one. <laughs> I, I, I. <laughs> I, can't, I can't with him. But it sets off an alternate history. You like alternate histories? I do. You like alternate oh, you histories? Oh, like like you like that. You like when the Beatle, the one guy wrote all the Beatles songs? You like yeah. that? Nah, me. I don't know what about these doing? alternate histories. The, that movie Yesterday, Yesterday, mm -hmm. where, Yesterday. It, where the Beatles didn't exist. And the guy... Oh, I did see that, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's good on the plane. It's fine. I don't think that one. I give it a D, not an F. <laughs> <laughs> it, that, that and uh, uh, Geostorm were pretty good on the plane. Geostorm? <laughs> I don't know <laughs> yeah. Geostorm. You don't know Geostorm? <laughs> what do you give that? I mean, Is I that guess... like a big old worldwide disaster movie? Yeah. It's a disaster. I love those. You've got to start grading stuff because it's today's high school. Yes, we are, it, we are celebrating... Uh, my record, but in the spirit of the record, we are going to be issuing out our final report cards for the year for all of the Holy Trinity, myself included, and Captain Carlin, who is not a part of the Holy Trinity. <laughs> Tim, did you ever Expect bring your definition? Did you ever bring your teacher an apple? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with a razor blade in it. Oh! oh. <laughs> How do you get that in there? <laughs> That's the hard part, you know? Yeah, I don't think they did yeah, the razor full blades Full razor in blade apple. in an I don't apple? think, you know, in the history of... Halloween. I don't think no kid has ever died <laughs> in the like history from, of Halloween. Yeah. <laughs> from eating from eating a, like tainted candy or like deadly candy. There well, hasn't been a thing. That's a f the other big we breaking about news. It. See this? Yeah. The breaking news I also want to share with you is at the end of today's program at around noon, I'm just gonna be. I'm, we're gonna be streaming the whole record. So stick oh. around. Keep if you're if you're around. If not, it's coming out tomorrow. Don't matter. But we're just gonna put it on. You don't have to stay. Leave. You know, you've heard the record. We're just gonna play it. Who gives a shit? It's my radio show. I do whatever I want. <laughs> now, where can people play get a it? chord from the record, off by memory? Just any chord from the record that you recall playing and enjoying. I think I play this one. 
There it is. <laughs> <laughs> that was a pretty one. Yeah. It's what is that? F, G, A, B flat. Oh yeah. Tim, where can people get it? Tower, Virgin. <laughs> Sam Goody only. We have a, an exclusive with Sam Goody. Sam Goody. How about Sam Ash? All no, the you Sams. Don't, they don't sell and Sam's Club. <laughs> Go on iTunes and buy it. Why don't we check in with a Zoomer? Please. That's of course what I was going to suggest. Carlos Ruva, do you have a topic? I bet you do. I can tell. I kind of do. Uh, it's not really a topic, but I just want some advice. Yes, I love giving advice. I have tremendous <laughs> advice to give. I've been having a really bad week. Oh. On Monday, uh, my girlfriend and I broke up. Oh. And then yesterday, I tested positive for COVID. First time ever getting it. So, Shit, um, some advice. Hmm. Did you get it from this broad who broke your heart? <laughs> <laughs> no, I got it from work. Some guy went to Ecuador and he came back and gave it to me. Well, my advice is don't go to Ecuador. <laughs> stay above that equator. <laughs> stay either above Northern or hemisphere, below. Northern hemisphere, please. Yeah, stay away from that center of the earth, of the earth. That's bad news there. Yep. Any part of the any part of the world you find in conflict, strife, trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Today on the show, very special program. What's your name again, Carlos? Carlos, yeah. Carlos's lady left him. Did you break up amicably? Did you say, listen, this just ain't working anymore? Um, sure. <laughs> I don't think about you much anymore. Was she dumped you? Me. No, we, uh, it was kind of mutual, but I started it. Oh. Started the conversation. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Having a little buyer's remorse on that breakup, huh? How long <laughs> have you been together? Almost two years. <laughs> that stings. You're coming <laughs> up on that two year mark and you're like, Am I, am, I, am I all in? Am I pot committed to this relationship? Or do I cut the cord now and move yeah, on with my that's life? Basically what it was. <laughs> Just had enough. Did you have one last romantic <laughs> event? <laughs> <laughs> nope, grabbed my things and left. <laughs> how about, Tim Drew, give me something. What, what you're doing right now is beautiful, but how about one for the road? <laughs> Room for the road, you and I. We've been together for just a couple of years. <laughs> One more for the road. And so maybe we just pack things up and fight through these tears. But before I go, <laughs> is there a chance that you and I can lay low? And touch our bodies and touch each other's private zones. Private zones. <laughs> I wonder if Bob was ever working a song and wrote private zones down and crossed it out. No, I can't say private zones. <laughs> What's there's the sexiest so Bob Dylan song out there? <laughs> yes. Is oh, there well, there's some there's some horny Bob songs. Is there some horny ones? Yeah, I got new pony or I got a pony. It's about fucking a fucking horse. <laughs> Blow, <laughs> blowing in the wind. <laughs> blowing. <laughs> what is that about uh, no, oral no. sex outdoors? Never blowing never my wind. <laughs> never read the lyrics. <laughs> That's what that song's about. I think it's that. Blowing yeah. out some wind. Yeah. It's not about farts, like I thought. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's about those, uh, those girls who sell their farts in jars. I just did, oh, I just did a spit take for I know, I, you almost joke. spat out. Right. Well, listen, never you want that. some advice? Yes. I do. How old are you? 23. Oh, 23. Oh, give me oh a my break. God. Get dude. out there. Come live on. life. Go to the Margarita Zone. Go to Margaritaville. <laughs> Margarita. It's summertime. <laughs> Ain't no cow for the summertime, bro. <laughs> Wait, no. Wait, you just say there's no cure. <laughs> no, here's what I would say. There's no cure. <laughs> He Here's has a summertime blues. You're... Don't give me no lies and keep, keep your, your hands, hands to yourself. No, don't give me no lines. And... <laughs> uh, look at, uh, look at pal. Look at Jack, pumpkin man. First of all, it looks like you're not sick. So that's a God blessings right there. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sick. Oh, you are? Yeah. Went through you know? a whole, <laughs> no. whole toilet paper. His so. testicles became swollen. Doing snots and things, sneezings and whatnot? Yep. Who talks like me in the history of the world, doing snots and things? <laughs> I'm not masturbating!
All right, chill, chill, chill. <laughs> well, listen. <laughs> You're gonna get over this. Have you have you gotten down down in the down in the dumps with the COVID before? I uh, know. You haven't gotten. I don't it. think so. No. If I did, if I had it, it was uh, asymptomatic. Yeah. Yep. Same with me. We're stronger mm. people than most. That's why we're <laughs> tiger blood. Yeah, tiger blood. <laughs> you don't see tigers getting COVID, folks. Anyways, my advice to you is, I hate to say this, this too shall pass, my friend. You. You will move on, you will find somebody else, you will have a beautiful experience. You'll probably be walking down the wedding. They're probably walking down the aisle. A year from now. A couple of years from now. A couple of months no, from I mean, now. I think yeah. that's right. <laughs> I think you need to get a lot of liquid in you. Rest. It's time to say goodbye <laughs> to the love that you've known for these past few years. Ciao a tutti, eh? Round the bend. Have a good life. There's a big old fat mama waiting to sit on your face. Bye forever. <laughs> She's gonna bye. sit on your face. Bye bye. Bye forever. You're gonna make love to that big old mama every day. We like dick, yes. She's gonna snuggle with ya. She's gonna touch ya. <laughs> All right. This ain't music night. That's good, man. This kid, this Drew Erickson, what a blessing it was. For me, to, for him to, for us and I to cross paths, him and I to cross paths. Thanks, Carlos. We love Carlos, you, buddy. Carlos, we love you, buddy. Maybe somebody in this community is looking to meet up. What's your, uh, what city are you in? I'm in our north of LA, Lancaster. All right, well, we, we, have, we have one listener in Lancaster, and that's you. The city that's of the day. <laughs> there it is, folks. The city of the day is Lancaster, Lancaster, California. Lancaster, California. Not to be confused with Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Uh -huh. That's true. Very or close to where we grew up. The City of the Day is sponsored by the Shepherd Fairy. Attention graffiti writers, don't you feel like shit when you run out of spray paint and you don't know what to do with your empty cans? Usually, you just throw them on the ground because who gives a shit about anything, right? Well, say hello to the Shepherd Fairy. Just put your empty cans under your pillow at night and the Shepherd Fairy will come and replace them with some, sti some stickers that say obey on them. Now when you write your big, wonderful name on a wall, you can put up some stickers too. Yay! <laughs> and it's free. Just go to shepherdfairy.blight and fill out the form anytime you have empty cans. The fairy will come at night with your stickers. The Shepherd Fairy, the number one... <laughs> the Shepherd Fairy, the number one nighttime fairy solution for every graffiti writer. Shepherd's Fairy, turn your spray cans into real stickers! <laughs> <laughs> Play that again. I made a jingle. Want to cool. hear another one? Yeah, I want to hear, no, I just want to hear that again. Shepherd's Fairy, turns your spray cans into real stickers. What is he saying at the end? Comes with it. <laughs> nice. Shepherd Fairy, wow. turns your spray cans into real cool stickers. Okay. <laughs> it's a lot of words. <laughs> Let's take another one, Matt. <laughs> Lancaster, uh, well, we know everything about Lancaster. It's an hour north of Los Angeles. I love that That's all you need to know. Let's take another Zoomer and check in with this community. Yeah, John Doyle, you had some questions, did you not? Yeah, I did have a question. Uh, so this is, this is Borderline Hothead. Doug, I see you're going on tour with the D. That's right. Tim, you're doing, Tim, you're doing the music comedy tour. Vic, hey, what about you? Vic has been ordered to go into hibernation. I, I am. <laughs> Check out tenaciousd.com for tickets still available yeah. for the East Coast dates. Well, September. let's be let's be clear. Let's be clear. We got to get uh, some office hours heads in the crowd. Yeah. I want to make make this clear that uh, the show will go on throughout this tour. Uh, we we are going to be doing it remotely. I'll be remote. Uh, we've got a couple a live show in Chicago, which sorry folks is sold out. See you later for that. But uh, that's New York's at not. Brooklyn is not. Brooklyn has Ooh. a few tickets left. That's office hours live and in person. So I think we might take one week off during this run. Uh, Doug, you're going to just only going for like a week or so in the in the in September, right? 
What does that That's schedule correct, look yeah. like? Doug's not on like a three-month fucking uh, tenacious I'm also going to be opening for Cobra Man in Salt Lake City and Denver and Chicago. Okay. But that's besides the point. But you'll still be active and engaged in the show. Oh, yeah. I'll be taking the reins over here. Vic is going to be walking his dogs and wiping <laughs> his uh, I'll be, children's I'll be asses. Dressing, dressing my dog up. I got her some new clothes. And, and you know. spending I'm ready time. to step in as the host if you need. Yeah, spending, yeah, his, spending, his time, uh, spending time with his dear old dad. That's right. Who is Even in the same in the room. room. He's in the control room right now. So. But you, son, what's your name again? John Doyle. John Doyle. Johnny John. from Milwaukee. From Milwaukee? Is that what you said? Yep. Okay. Okay. <laughs> You're just gonna have to calm down about what everybody's doing. Do you have Do you have uh, something for me to do? do you, are you inviting me to go He's, somewhere? Or? I was gonna suggest. Pace around. I was gonna suggest. Wait, what are they gonna do? Cryogenically freeze you. Wait, I, I, I want to know what's. That, yeah. So he's asking. Asking uh, what's. what's no, what the Vic has going. On. I got some stuff going on. Don't worry. Yeah, don't stuff. worry about this it. This show is gonna keep. Yeah, the show is not. You're going to see him in New York. Yeah. You fly from there, Milwaukee to Brooklyn. Chicago. Oh, it's fine. I'll be at the Madison show, Tim. Thank you. That's great to hear. Nice. That's the Barrymore, Madison, Wisconsin. I can't wait to. That's my, I oh, can't you don't wait get to, to play get, at the Pabst Theater with that me. nice <laughs> backstage. You know what? I have to say this about Milwaukee. Thanks, John. And I'm going to get shit for this, but Milwaukee has kind of softened in terms of the routing, like as we look at where to play. I used to love playing Milwaukee, but then it's sort of like, well, people go to the Chicago show. That's only two hours away. There's Madison. There's uh, what's the other big one out there? Ann Arbor. Um, Beloit. It gets a little hard to justify Milwaukee, which I hate because I love it there. But for some reason, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Hawaii. Sheboygan. Do you ever hear Sheboygan? Oshkosh. <laughs> yeah. All right. Enough of this. Enough of this show. <laughs> You want to end it? Yes, we're done. All right. Thank you, Drew, for coming all this way. <laughs> Drew came in from uh, Lancaster, hour away. <laughs> wow. That's a cool sound. What's that? What's going on with that? Nice. Oh, it's called Warm Winds. Warm Winds. David the Nose. <laughs> Plus clarinets. Who leg. else we have here, Matt? Let's, um, is there anybody on the hotline? Let's check in here. David? David Thompson, you are on the air on the hotline. The pounding. Hello, David. Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Hello, okay. Uh, Tim, I'm here down in New Orleans, and I know that you you love New Orleans. You filmed down here, but you're not coming through here. I gotta, I'm got i driving eight hours to come see you in Dallas in August. I was wondering, you're not the only one, though, and I just wonder why that is, that a lot of touring acts skip us down here. I... Uh... I do think it's a little bit of the uh, the Las Vegas issue, where it's a very, um, it's a good town for big acts. It's a hard town for smaller acts. I'm not exactly <laughs> sure why, but it's a little. It's always just. It's like uh, I guess it's like Milwaukee. There's just soft spots in this country where the venues aren't exactly right for the kind of show we do. I guess. I mean, Eric and I did something there last tour. It was fine, but it's yeah, it's a weird one. I think there's just too much partying going on. There's too much. There's too many, too much competition with other entertainment. Sad, yeah. It's um, more of a puss whip bang gang kind of thing. Yeah. Sad, what? Dude. What? I'd love to play there. I played yeah, where Elton John enough. plays at the Mercedes Benz uh, Stadium, or the. Oh, that's where Roger. Yeah, that's sure. where Roger plays. Now, this can we talk about that for a second? You play with Roger Waters. Well, I did. Yeah. What? Yeah, yeah. You don't now. No. No. no Thanks, David. Take right care. Now. Oh boy, dude, so you're that you've moved on from that period of your life. Good. Yes. Did, oh, I'm not in the band, yeah. No. <laughs> Wait, is this true? That's did, did you really play with Roger Waters? Yeah. Wow. Well, okay. in 2017. Did Did you get to see any of him, like, turning down autographs? Because, like, people come up to him, he's like, I'm not going to sign that. No, no, no. He would <laughs> he would sign autographs, like, outside of the hotel. Yeah. Uh, like, people would bring bases. There'd be, yeah, like, a long yeah. line of people with bases. And then, like, five minutes later, you'd see him on eBay. <laughs> exactly. Oh, my God. Jeez. Yeah. Oh, Tough, tough customer, but, Roger no, Waters. Yeah, I'd say he's like tough but fair kind yeah. of guy. Mm -hmm. You like him? I think I like him. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of rock if you, star, oh, I was just gonna something. say if you had to choose between him and David Gilmour. I never met David Gilmour. Okay, then it's fair. So Roger, I guess wins. Roger. What is speaking of rock stars? Speaking of rock stars, we got uh, Kurt, the great Kurt Viles. Here. Oh! Should we start the reunion. Kurt, let's bring him in. Mr. Vile, you vile cunt. 
Kurt? Can you see? Can you see me? Hey, of course I can. Beautifully backlit. Fucking cunt! All I need to see is that beautiful head of hair. Good. How are you, friend? <laughs> Good, how are you? Peter on net! Yeah. <laughs> Dude, uh, where are you? You're on tour? No, uh, well, I'm doing a one-off. I'm in Santa Fe. I'm playing a show with Terry Allen. He's a legend. Yeah, do you know, I don't know Terry Allen. You, you mentioned him on your Instagram. I don't know if I know Terry Allen. Is he? Yeah, yeah that's... It's a shame. Uh, you know, you'll, one day you'll get obsessed with him. Uh, but people in the know, he's like, he's, like, he's like everything combined, but he's also like this amazing sort of outsider, outlaw, country artist. But he's a great art, artist in general. Like uh, he's got you know pieces all over the world. I don't know. He's a ge- he's a genius though. His his, his uh, records are like kind of psychedelic country plays or something. That sounds great. Yeah. Sounds right up my alley. Yeah, it is right exactly up your alley. So what are, <laughs> so what are you doing with him? You're just accompanying him. No, we're playing a show together, um, and then we're gonna sit in together as well. Yeah. Um, this is like a real reunion. I just Everyone's saw, just I just saw Mac, po- Mac, Mac DeMarco just popped up in the Zoom. Do, Kurt, do we want to bring him in or do we want to hold him? Oh. I mean, <laughs> let, should we, do we want to yeah, prioritize? Yeah. What do you want to do, uh, Mac, Kurt? You tell me. You tell, I mean, I want to see, cool. I haven't seen Mac. Last time I saw Mac, he was lighting up farts backstage. So. Oh, <laughs> wait a minute now. <laughs> now I, now you signed an NDA, Kurt. You better be careful. Kurt, that was I mean, five, Mac, are you there? Ago. I am hot. Can you hear me? Yeah. Look at this. Hi, everybody. Hi, Kurt. Long time to see. Hi. Hey, hey, buddy. <laughs> you guys have any? Uh, do you guys have an indie rock rivalry going that I don't know about? No, we're buddies. We're buddies. No way. Not, <laughs> we're on two. Uh, we got two different. Uh, no, we're, we're not rivals. We can't Kurt be. is kind of my senior. I would say. You know, he is like um, when I was a young shrimp that nobody knew about I was like well it was a kind of like oh like I'm not worthy kind of vibe you know Kurt's that's in the, high school that's Kurt's an elder statesman exactly. yeah I I am but I that's sweet because I remember we partied in uh Australia it was the it was the best and you know <laughs> yeah. I never I never knew you were a fan or anything but you you're like you guys were a whole other universe you're like a tornado <laughs> going by and I was like man I got I was like I better just join I better just join in it's like <laughs> You know what's cool is the continuity of uh, the the legacy of these uh, different artists. Like when we had uh, we had um, from Pavement in here. What's his name? Steve, uh, Mal- Steve Malcolm. Malcolm. Malcolm is like man. Uh, I love that Kurt Vile. I love that Kurt. he was all into you and he didn't, Mac. He didn't bring you up, but if I had brought you up, you I'm sure he'd have nice things to say. Believe me. But it didn't come up. It didn't come up. What do you want me to do? But. Yeah, well, Steve, there's, he's yeah. our godfather, right, Kurt? Yeah, no, I he was my, I grew up on Steve. Mine Mathis. too, mine too. You know, I'm not. You well, know. you grew up on <laughs> Kurt, according to you. You can't grow up no, on well, more well, than one I person. Know, you know, well, that's a little. You know, we're a little the, closer there's a whole in line age. Of people, you know. We're a little closer in age, okay? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, listen, Mac, where are you in New York? I'm in New York. I'm in a, a hotel in uh, the Lower East Side. It's not the nicest hotel, but it's totally fun. You should be in the nicest hotel, Mac. You should be what? at the You're not too here. expensive here. It's too expensive. I don't want to pay like six hundred dollars a night for a hotel. That's crazy. That's you're not insane. here. You're not there. On, that means you're not there on business. You're there. No, on, I'm on here for, for a wedding, oh. which will be great. But um, I, you know, I don't know. That's it's expensive. Flying right now. Everybody wants to fly this last week. It's and expensive. then flights are getting I, canceled. You know, yeah, we sat on the tarmac for two hours, but I'm happy to be in New York. We just had <laughs> Russ and daughters for breakfast, delicious. Did you wait? You, you stood in that line. Getting... You stood in that line. At Russ and daughters, it yeah. was a takeout only. No okay. line. No line. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, no. Listen, I don't want to be disrespectful to either of these guys, so I'm trying to balance this. I got worse news for you. Eric's here too now. Eric J- Johnson is here too. Yeah. All right. Are you guys cool? I'm yeah. fine. All right, I'm fine. happy to see Mac. Well, let me just say something to Kurt before I talk to Eric. And uh, yesterday, I'm at I'm going to the gym a couple times a week just to get some toning happening. You I know? can I can tell, dude. Yeah, you look good, dude. I'm fucking working on it. But I finally I listened to the new record a couple of times as you do. But this time I put it on the headphones and just was working out with it. And it is a 
gem. Oh, man. Holy shit. Mac, have Thanks. you dug in yet? Dude, you're talking about the, the your new record. The new yeah. Kurt. No, the new Kurt. I thought you were talking about the your new record. Kurt Kyle. Like oh, your I thought heart. he was talking about his own <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were talking about your record, too. You records. did? Yeah. Wait, you that's funny. I knew, I knew he was talking about mine. That's because me and you are in oh the same way. <laughs> when did it come out? I'll, I'll listen to it today. I'm very bad at keeping up with this I know. Stuff, it's I impossible. <laughs> but, dude, it's so oh, good. Man. Thank you. It's oh, such man, a groove. So, I'm so glad you like it. I'm... Yeah, I, it's kind of like that. Like if, if you could listen in headphones uh, and have something to do, it'll creep up on you. Yeah, I, that's I w I know that because I that's how I have to make the record. I listen to it over and over again because I'm a obsessive person. So, but now and I I, uh, I did some vocals on the record that were cut from the record. Well, that <laughs> that was they were badly recorded. Unfortunately, it was just Cut like it was bleeding. Everything was bleeding into everything. Oh yeah, it was, it was cool. It was, just it was like, like a this bunch big of yelling. Group, it was like a big group vocal thing. But, but we have it recorded on video and stuff. I'm sure you know. The, no way we won't unearth that as if you know. <laughs> <laughs> the end product is the song chaos. What is it? Chaos coming around the bend. That's the uh, chorus. It's our, but yeah, it's called say the word. Say the word. Yeah. Say the word. Say um, the word. Mac, when are we getting a new v album from you? Are you uh, are you working on I anything? don't know. I mean, I, I just did this. I drove around for like four months by myself and, and recorded all this music. And uh, I, I was I was calling what I was doing. It was called Five, five Easy Hot Dogs. And I don't know. <laughs> Mac. I don't know if I'll put it out or not. We'll see. But I, I'm working on music. I'm working on music. I just don't know what it'll. I don't know. Well, Mac, go ahead, Doug. A I quickly. have a question. Hi, Mac. Uh, you drove Please. around for four months by yourself? Yeah, yeah. Well, where did you go? I went up the West Coast on the PCH. I went into Canada, saw some old friends, went across, down through like uh, Saskatchewan, North Dakota, was in the Fargo, got caught in a snowstorm, went across Chicago, saw the Bulls game, <laughs> went to... Uh, <laughs> Connecticut uh, went to New York, and then I, I and then I drove back across. I was going to Salt Lake City because we had that was where the next show was. Were you take that sweet then, truck that I saw you had? Yeah, and that Toyota. Yeah, nice. But here's the thing: the trip got cut short because on the drive from New York to Salt Lake, I decided to quit smoking, and it drove me completely insane. So that is hard. I got there, picked the wrong week to quit time. smoking. <laughs> yeah, like an uh, airplane. Movie. You off? The, you this, off the smokes? I'm off, off now. Yeah, wow. I'm off. I'm good off. for you. That's good. Uh, good. Do you yeah. see the big news about the jewel got pulled? I know. From... I was jeweling, and I saw that today, so I was like, "Good timing." I That's no even problem. worse than the smokes. I think from the from the addiction pl uh, perspective, like from the jewel, the... I, I couldn't. I couldn't. I was doing it in my sleep, pretty much. Yeah. You know, I was doing it all over the place. So <laughs> what happened? What, what, happened? Happened? Well, uh, what happened? What happened? What happened? He was smoking them red apples. Smoking them red yeah. apples. Hawaii. You put the jewel in this in the <laughs> snorkel, and you sleep with it. <laughs> Right. Um, well, let me just say quickly um, my gratefulness to you both, but just to give you the backstory quickly, I'll try to do this the quick way. Started working on the record with Rado. He got busy with the killers. What are you going to do? Respect to them. Right? I guess. <laughs> I called Drew. I said, can you help me with this record I'm working on? It's pretty straightforward. I, I kind of know what I want it to sound like, but Drew comes over. We do one day here, right? One, oh, Drew, yeah. Drew Erickson's right. here, by the way. Hey, um, hey Drew. Hey, what's up? You guys all know each other, right? Yep. Th yeah. Yeah. And then Drew's, Drew's smart. He's got instinct. He sniffs the situation. He goes, we're not going to get anything done here. This is not productive. Is that what I said? I'm paraphrasing. <laughs> and I'm also making it a better story. Oh, okay. yes. Okay, but okay, you go, you know, um, I just talked to Mac DeMarco, and he's got some free time, and he's got a studio. Maybe we should do it over at his place. I go... I mean, I'm into that if he is. I don't want to never, encroach, but... It and, uh, we sniffed all the <laughs> Well, you know what was interesting about that part of it is when Drew hit me up, he's like, yeah, Tim's looking to do some demos, drum machines and synths. And I was like, yeah, of course, sure. You know, I got that. But I didn't, I didn't realize at the time that you were working on the record. So I was kind of like, oh. And then when you guys showed up, I was like, oh. Oh, we're making a record. Which, I was like, you know, I'm down. I'm down to do it. But Did it you feel... Kind of like, I just, oh. Did you feel a little blindsided Foisted. by that? Like, uh, no, not at all. I mean, I was doing nothing anyway, and I'm always down to record. But it was kind of—I just didn't really know what you guys were doing. But then it comes, and then it, it's revealed, and I was like, okay, great. And it was exciting, fun. I think that you, you know, some good stuff got made. So whatever, dude. You know? Like, tell you what, 
that song is so beautiful. I, I only heard the song I'm on, and it's such such a great production, and it's got all the. I could hear the Mac in it, and I can hear the Drew in it, and luckily I got myself in there a little bit too. So, you know. Well, you've heard Buddy. You've heard Buddy. Oh yeah, you. I heard demo of Buddy. Yeah. Or did with oh because it went out on the internet. Yeah, I'm you, bad at the internet. You've heard it. I've played you, but <laughs> <laughs> it's got the. Your first of all, Drew, your synth playing on the record it cha- it creates the palette of this creates the sound of the record, and then Mac's guitar playing. First of all, people are going to be like, dude, I thought you don't like the Grateful Dead. I go, because it's a lot of Jerry on there. It's all I can do, I'm afraid, yeah. What so. is that? Like, what is that style? How do you, how do you... Uh, it's like, uh, it's like the Mixolydian scale. Mixolydian. That's all I what know What is the Mixolydian scale? Is that it? Yeah. Was it starting from the four okay. or five? Nice. five? He's like, maybe it's not the Mixolydian, man. Yeah. And I was controversial. It's like happy sounding, but also dominant. You know what I mean? It's like rocking, but happy. Something like that. Or, uh, you know, I don't know. My friend Chad. Yeah. And it's also here, the so tone. It's got, it's a, cl- a very clean sound. It's a very clean electric guitar sound with maybe like a little yeah. chorus on it or something, maybe. Something like that. Yeah, yeah. a little wobble. Four. Yeah. It makes for a pretty music. And I have to, I was controversial this weekend because I got listening to the I love re- pretty music. The recent uh, Dead and Company set. Oh, uh-huh. that was John Mayer's. Yeah, and I was kind of like, this is going to piss so many people off. I was like, I'm kind of into this. I'm a deadhead. <laughs> <laughs> Almost got another spit take from that one. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, wrote, you take I wrote on the internet, I was like, Are, is this better than it usually is? Because what I've heard in the past was terrible. And then the people are like, yeah, man, they got their shit together now. I think Bobby's uh, working hard on his tone, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and I was kind of like, all right, I'm into it right for the but moment. Wait, wait Tim, what, what's the difference, though? What's the, like, cause... I don't know. Like, sometimes it fully drags, and, is, yeah. and people are not singing together, and the harmonies suck, and yeah. Mickey Hart's playing a completely different song than the rest of the band yeah. is. But on whatever I heard, they were like... Locked in, so yeah. I guess that's the spirit, the yeah, magic, and the I mystery. Don't, I really it. think you are a fan, just in, ge- in, in the dead in general. I think. Yeah, just I can see that. Afraid to admit it, to say it. What I you- like, you know, I like when they're when it's a sloppy because that's part of it. It's like yeah. if there's a slo- you know, you ever heard that version of them doing a uh, Baba O'Reilly or yeah, something? It's, it's like the it's, worst. It's performances. the worst. It's but it's awesome because it's so bad. Like yeah. it's so bad. I, you know, I think but, it's funny, Kurt. Where are you on these guys? So these, we agree. These I respect them. I like the classics. I like Box of Rain. I, yeah. I'm sure I could get turned on a certain thing. I loved that five part documentary. I mean, I like I feel for Jerry. The, yeah. The, the most the, what resonates m- most with me, like in a sad way, is Jerry at the end. He's like, you know, he was so depressed. I can like relate on a tinier scale for ver- for different reasons. Like, but he's like completely alone, and all these people follow him around. And he his line is, yeah, you know, well, I don't get to have a Grateful Dead. I got to be the guy. So right. You can't follow anybody. They're all following him. Yeah. He's got to be the guy. No, and the burden, like, uh, the burden of, I don't get- the burden of keeping that going and 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 cr- keeping those people employed and like staying on the Heavy. road. I did feel that too. Um, is Eric here? Eric uh, Johnson? Is he still? Is he here? And I'm here. It's Eric. <laughs> I'm so. Sorry. It's hard to chime in with all these guys. Everybody's a bunch of. We got a bunch of chatterboxes in the Zoom. <laughs> I have so many things to add. Hello, hi everybody. Well, because Eric, hi. you're a, you're a deadhead. Yeah, I would say I'm a fairly legit deadhead fan of the dead. I'm a deadhead. And Max, Max playing was <laughs> was that Al Franken, by the way? <laughs> Is that an I Al Franken it drop? It's, uh, it was not. It's a football guy, NFL guy. Uh, oh, uh, it's a football guy. What's that guy? I'm a deadhead. I don't, I don't not know. Bill, not Bill, Phil, uh, Bill Walton. Bill, something a like basketball that. Basketball guy. Anyway, oh, Bill yeah. Walton. Yeah. Go yeah. ahead, Eric. Yes, I am. And I thought Max playing was very Jer bared out and very beautiful. I had so much fun messing around with it. So Eric comes yeah. into the equation after we record. So we record with Mac and Drew. I've got a bunch of tracks. It's a bit of a mess as, as rough, you know, as, a, as that part of the process can be. My vocals aren't really finished or there. It's, it's doesn't, it has just core instrumentation happening. I don't know, Drew's busy, Mac gets busy, you know, I'm just like, I don't want to bother anybody, but I don't want to put this out because it's not done yet. It's just, it's undercooked. My label, uh, Space Bomb, 
says, what about Eric Johnson? And I go, I love Eric. I know, I've, Eric, I've known you. If people know, uh, everybody knows my show, awesome show. If you remember way back when, the Shins did a beautiful cover of Wipe My Butt, correct? That is, that is correct. Never going to wipe my butt. And there is Eric. with the, He was playing with the Shins at the time. You are the multi-instrumentalist, the talent, the, G, the musical wizard that has to come in and get that band to sound good, right? Whip them into shape a little bit. The pro. I don't know what's I'm going not. On. But I'm, <laughs> I'm mischaracterizing, I understand, but I'm just setting up some drama. So I've known you for over 10 years, just here and there. I just thought about it this morning and we've known each other for 15 years wow. because that was 2007. There you go. That's a long so, time to yeah. know somebody. But anyways, yeah. we get to connected together through the label and we send you the tracks and I expect you to give me a little bit of advice or sort of like, it's good or here, try doing this, try doing that. But you go, no, what do you say? You say, I like these songs. I think this, there's a lot of potential here. Why don't you send me everything? I'm just gonna get to work on these. Yeah, and then I just started doing stuff. I think like that same day. Yeah. And so every day I would get a track back from you with harmonies and other instruments and other little bells and whistles. And it made the whole thing explode with, it just, op it, it just turned the whole thing into something that I was excited and proud about. I think proud it's of. gonna be a long, long time. Um, I, I felt that. <laughs> Let him speak, damn it. <laughs> That's fine. Just keep doing that over me. Um, <laughs> no, I connected. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now Don't you're speaking my language. Yeah. yeah. Let him speak, damn I'm it. Sorry. I'm sorry. I, I stopped. Just, just two more. Just do two more. Get two more out of your system. Yeah, one, two. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> All right. Eric, the floor is yours. I don't remember what I was saying. I think I, I was going to say I connected to the songs because you and I are both class of 94. Yeah. And uh, and I was like, this is, I think, I think that we probably would have hung out in 1993 and, and 1994. Like I, like this, like you seeing uh, the Neil Young song. I was like, that happened to me pretty much exactly. Yeah. Um, buddy. That happened to me. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, not that it can't happen in other years, but sure. I don't know. I felt the sumptuous qualities of your the evocative time that you were uh, going for. Well, the other yeah. palette on the record, there's Drew's keys, there's Max guitar playing. Your vocals, your harmony vocals are the other sound of the record that, you know, I think every record has its like few sounds that play through the whole record and your, your voice like Sounds very good with mine because I don't have a very good voice, and you have a nice high register voice, which helps. <laughs> okay. Uh, so is that me? Was that me from the record? I think yes, we have, oh, the yeah. we have all the stems. We have all the stems. And then the final piece to go back to where we started with Kurt, because I know Kurt wants to jump in here. Kurt's thinking, why did I agree to do this? Max oh, thinking, why am I still here? <laughs> <laughs> I like it. <laughs> I say, I need one little piece of the puzzle is missing, and that is Kurt Vile, because I wrote Signs of Titan almost as a Kurt Vile parody song. Kurt Vile. <laughs> I, yeah, I didn't catch that, but I, I ran with it since then. You well, know, Peter on like, it? That's a very Kurt yeah. thing to say. Peter on it? I mean, if yeah, well... I don't know. That sounds like Bob Dylan. The way you're saying it now. That's true, but there's He's something about there's something about your stuff that is it's meandering in a great way. It's sort of just this stream of conscious, your freedom to kind of have a free association of ideas is in all of your music, and I love it and appreciate it. And it ins and as I was sitting there writing that song, I started thinking about you. You're coming in my you're in my head. How do you Hell like yeah. that? I was so glad to do it. I was, but yeah, I was just so into that song uh, immediately. So I, 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 if it was influenced by me well, in, in a subconscious way, I, I didn't know, but I, it was super catchy. So it was definitely my wheelhouse. Yeah. And people, a lot of people write me saying they love that song. Like, you know, my family members and uh, Stella, people, in, you know. Oh, that's cool. I don't know, people that always reach out. They don't, they don't reach, reach they out. They don't reach out to me. They don't reach out that's unless Stella. they mean it. 
Stella Mazgawa. Oh, she loves you. Um, but let me just go back to Eric for a moment. Eric, you seem to be on the road constantly this year. You've been the fruit bats. It seemed like it did. You guys did a like a never-ending but very successful run of shows. Yeah, it was a fun and awesome tour. I'm on a tour bus right now, as you can maybe see. Can we get a little flip cam? Can we get can we get a, a little tour? A little what cam, is the cam vibes? Is you, can you turn turn this around? There's the front of it. Yeah. There's yeah. Trucking. Um, it's a mess. Oh yeah. Is anybody asleep? Or is nobody's on the bus? Look at that. No, we have a we have a two year old on tour with us. <gasps> so yeah. So it's a mess. All right, um, well and you're out with Bonnie yeah, Light Horseman? Is that what who are I'm you out, out with? Yeah, yeah, I'm out with my band Bonnie Light Horseman and uh they're sound checking right now without me. Well um, you better get in there. What? No, no, I'm I'm i I'm, I'm I'm out. they they got me. They got me covered. Okay. <laughs> Boom. <Yeah>. Stay <laughs> tuned and <laughs> Um, oh, does anybody out there in the days. world, uh, Matt, have questions for any of these boys? I think I that's like a fair to thing to ask. Sure. Uh, Maybe did we ch check the control room if there's anyone there that has a question? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'd like to. I'd like to hear from Vic the Third. See if he has a question. Um, we got some hand raisers. Hey, Algero. Somebody. Algero. That's what that sounded like. Uh, where is this guy? I insulted some guy in the chat. He said, "Yeah, we're at a fifth <laughs> zoomer." Roger. <laughs> what is that? That's a... Roger uh, Ailes has a pressing right? question. Well, I don't know. What is it? Vitas. It's Vitas. What's Vitas? Vitas. Right? Yes, what's your question, stuff? Roger? Uh, Roger bailed. Okay. Jay Teitelman. It was Roger you Waters. Question? <laughs> it was Roger Waters calling and asking where the hell Drew is. Get back on tour. <laughs> Did I get weird? Did I get weird with you? <laughs> That's what we oh, for a sec. For a second, I thought Mac left, and then I saw his face really big. I was like, where's Mac? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Um... You know, it's funny, somebody, I didn't even think about this. This is beautiful, subliminal work happening, but I get Kurt Vile on the Kurt Vonnegut track, KV. Kurt Vonnegut. got that going on. And then the other thing that's fun is randomly, Kurt brings over a pedal for, the, for his guitar, guitar solo. And tell me about that pedal. Do you remember the pedal you brought? Yeah, okay. It's like uh, Lou Reed invented it because <laughs> he had like a broken pedal. And he got that guy, that British guy, Pete Cornish or whatever. I think that's his name. Speaking of Pink Floyd, you know, he built all those giant pedal boards, whatever. Yeah. And then he's got this uh, fuzz pedal that just sounds like a dying amplifier. Yeah. And I kind of forget what it's called. It was pretty overpriced, but not really because it sounds incredible. And I had just got it and I brought it over to you and uh, Pete Cornish sent it to me. He signed the side of it as if, you know, uh, <laughs> I'm like, oh, thanks. Thanks. Uh, uh, thanks. You're, who's the who's the rock star here? You know? Yeah, no, I, you no, get that up kidding. on eBay was, right away next time. Yeah. But, but the beauty of it, it is, it sounds really good. It sounds cool. And the beauty, the weird, the subliminal thing is, we're name checking the Velvet Underground in the song all over the place. But oh, yeah. Total yeah. coincidence. No, the dreaded baseball. Right. What else? Vic, you have any questions? No, no, I don't. I don't have anything right good. now. Good, good answer. <laughs> good. I think you covered it all. <laughs> I want to let you guys go. Mac, what do you have to say for yourself? Any I would say final words? Uh, congrats on the record. I would say to everyone, I think it turned out really great. I'm very happy that I was uh, involved. You got to put your name on it. I mean, and somebody somebody of your stature might go, you know what, I'm happy to help, but don't put my name on it because all you're going to do is exploit it. But you felt, no, 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 you no, feel, no, like, no, you feel proud, a proud association. Absolutely proud. Big fan, you know, very happy, um, you know, and... Um, Stoked. Stoked for you know everybody. What? You're looking good. I'm happy to hear you're off the SIGs. You, we need yeah. you around for as long as we can have you. Yeah, I hope so. You're hope looking so. great, uh, man. I got to go to this great. gym you're going to. You look shredded. I need to become like this. Dude, let's, this let's, get on, let's start jogging together around the Silver Lake okay. Reservoir. Okay, perfect. That's what Kira does. Perfect. All right. Perfect. perfect. Me and you are going to get fit and we're going to make love. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He thinks I'm joking. That escalated. That escalated. <laughs> that escalated. <laughs> <laughs> a bit of All right, Mac. <laughs> say, uh, have a fun time at the wedding. I don't know what you're going to do without I the will. cigs or the booze or anything. You're just going to be standing around. Hey, Mac, it's <laughs> good, good to see you. Too. Good to see you, too. I'm sure I'll see all you guys soon. Much yes. love. And uh, have a great rest of the, uh, the, the podcast here. All right. Thanks, Mac. Thanks, Mac. Thank you, Eric, I'm also going to let you go. All right, Tim. Okay, um, happy release day. Thank you so much for the work you put into the record for nothing, for just for the for the sake of art. And 
you know, uh, the, the appreciation is endless. Um, yeah, man, I love it. I gave it the drive test this morning. I listened to the whole thing on a drive, which is always a good test, and it sounded amazing. It sounds really good. And yeah, yeah, you were the you you had the the QC the quality control kind of that because it it was pretty much you know, it, you were the last guy to fiddle with it before it got mixed. So you were really involved, and in, you and I were both talking a lot about thank you the way it sounds, and it and it was there was a lot of hard work put into it. So thank you. Thank you. Yeah, man. Thank you. I'm, I'm proud Thank of you. it. And uh, All right. <laughs> proud to have known you for 15 years. We'll, yeah, you yeah, too, Eric. Yeah, we'll for talk to, to 15 right, more. Man. Did Kurt to 15 bail? More. All right, man. Thank you very much. Okay, good. Okay. Kurt. See y'all. See ya. Hey. All right, Kurt. Can you we, see me? Yeah, I can see can you. you see we we, we um, dropped the other two guys. We dropped them. Okay. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, as long as you can see me because I can't. I can't see me. I don't know what. Oh, that's okay. As long as you can, can see me. me. Okay. Now listen. Oh, that was cool. Mac just wrote, said, thanks for having me, y'all. That was dope. What a, what a, what a guy. What a nice man. Listen. Oh, man, that's a hit. That's cream, cream popcorn on the cob. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Well. <laughs> Kurt, now I'm going to hit you up to come out on stage with me when we're in Philly. I don't know if you're going to be in town. If you're not going to well, be in town, then that's what it's going to be. That's it's, it's I'll tell you what. I, sorry, I yeah. can't wait for that. And I, if I'm, if you're in town, I'll be there. Or maybe we'll cross paths out in the world. You know. I can't anytime. wait for that. I can't wait to get a big old hug from you. Yeah. Say hi. Have a great show tonight. Say hi to Terry Allen for me. I will. <laughs> <laughs> Congrats on the new record. I can't wait to hear hear it. All right. Actually, it's out tomorrow. Yeah. I can't wait. All right, yeah. buddy. Take care. Right, Enjoy guys. that beautiful New Mexico vibes. All right. All right. Hey, it's good see to see you, all you guys. All right. All right. Peace out. Yeah, that's the one. Wait. All I know is this, Matt. If I don't see a news item in Brooklyn Vegan about this interview, oh. I want them all to go to hell. How could they? It's hard to leave. It's hard to leave this great music. Well, you're welcome to stick around. Stay and watch just... the show. What else are you going to do? Watch Vic 3. That reminds me, we do have a command performance on uh, just seconds away. I, the pounding. I did, I did want to tell uh, Eric, oh. he left, that, but uh, he's got, the, I was turned on to an early record of his, The Fruit Bats. He's got this good song. It's like when you need it in the middle, when the needle's in the red. I, don't, I was going to tell him, but he just... He didn't seem to like me. So. Well, <laughs> I'll pass that along to him. I love the, I think the Fruit Bats are, I mean, they're not, I wouldn't say underrated or whatever, but their records are fantastic. I love them. This one record, I, my friend gave it to me. This is years before you even knew him. Yeah. I can't, you know, early 2000s, uh, I listened to that record over and over again, whatever it was. It, I was really into it. That's the only one I really know. So The new one, one, Pet Parade, I enjoy. Love the title, love the energy. Pet Parade. I'll check it out. Um, all right, Kurt, get out of here. Cool. Get off right, my desk. Love you. See ya. Love bye, you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> we truly do love Kurt. That's not a controversial statement. Great guy. He's a sweet guy. He really is. The nicest in the biz. And so is Mac, and so is Eric, and so is Drew. This, this is, see, my vibes the fuck is this? are the problem. <laughs> My vibes are the problem. I'm the asshole. You're the Doug, rock. Doug and Matt and me are nice. <laughs> You're the crab apple. We're nice, guys. <laughs> You're the crab apple I'm in the orchard. consistently nice. <laughs> now, later in the show, we I are going to asshole. give ourselves, speaking of self-evaluation and self-criticism uh, and criticism what? of others, we are going to be giving ourselves a report card. <laughs> so good luck, Doug. Good luck to me. Well. Now, um, Doug, do you enjoy listening to these? I think we're all going to pass. Do you, yeah, we're definitely going to pass. Do you enjoy listening to these uh, these interviews with these musicians, or is it that a drag? was really entertaining? I like Kurt, I like Mac, and it was great to know to get to know thank you the other guy. Yeah, I first you, like I, you, know, you get these legends on the Zoom here, and like I, I, I don't know what to say to them sometimes. Like you. you know what I mean? Like I don't want to. And you know what? I made them laugh a few times. Strange. Well, okay. You're not seeing. Are you going to see down the line? I mean, Let me ask you a question, what, what, and I what? want the straight answer. Okay. Matt, you can chime in on this too. Drew. Does Mac DeMarco show up in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? <laughs> I'm talking 50 years from now, 20 years from now. <laughs> no one's showing up. It's going to be dust. That they better be thing, shut that yeah. shit down because that is a to the ground. Is Rock and Roll done? Who when did it end? You know? Yeah. Who was the last person to go in there? Probably uh, Cheryl Chuck Crow D or something. Or something. <laughs> Tell you who will be in VB3. Yes. yes. VB3. 
Ladies and gentlemen, all the way from Allentown, Pennsylvania, <laughs> please welcome in to the Office Hour Studios. Matt, it is, uh, it is my, we just better all just, no break today. Well, okay? we got to give a quick break after this song oh, to well. switch a camera. But we, we, we can wing it. I have no it. authority here. We can wing it. We can wing it. He's going to do the song now, though, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I better get my guitar. We might need to give the boys a second to reset. Okay, afterwards. we'll take a, we'll take our usual little break. But I feel like we're just getting warmed up. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh oh. Okay. Tim, we should make a new Hall of Fame of just to outshine the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, which is a joke. I would love that. Uh, the Bad Brains aren't in there. There's a lot of who's not in there. The Bad Brains. Oh. <laughs> For one the, example uh, of good music Hall of Fame. Yes, Forget rock exactly. and roll. The Bad Brains. Stays in tune. Okay, good enough. All right, hit it. Uh. Ladies and gentlemen, all the way from Allentown, Allentown. it's Vic Murder the Third playing. Well, we're living here in Allentown. And they're closing all the factories down Out in Bethlehem they're killing time Filling out coal horns, standing in line Well our fathers fought the Second World War Spent their weekends on the Jersey Shore Met our mothers at the USO Asked them to dance, dance with them slow Restlessness was handed down And it's getting very hard to stay oh. Well, we're waiting here in Allentown For the Pennsylvania we never found So the graduations hang on the wall But they never really helped us at all No, they never taught us what was real Iron and cold, chromium steel And we're waiting here in Allentown But they've taken all the coal from the ground Happened on the way to that place. They threw an American flag in our face. Oh. Well, I'm living here in Allen Town, and it's hard to keep the good man down. But I won't be getting up. Done, Mr. Hey, we, we rehearsed on the way over here in the we, car. Oh yeah, we've been. All right, everybody. Yeah. That was a. I think it was the best musical performance we've ever had oh, here. Oh yes, oh, absolutely. Top notch. Uh, we will be back in three to five minutes. Stick with us, and we'll talk to Vic Berger, the, the third. We'll continue to talk to Drew Erickson. Take your zooms. 
And stick around later, we're going to be playing LP number five of mine uh, high school. See you soon. He doesn't have the lyrics. He doesn't oh. have the lyrics How for about Dragon I Light. think we're alone? Eh? Okay. Well, do you okay. want to do your your song first? Uh, no, no, no. Well, why don't we do I Think You're Alone? We, okay. uh, I Think We're Alone Now, and Gilbert will join in. Okay. All and right. then you guys can do two that are unmolested. <laughs> I see. <laughs> well, let's see. We're going to indulge Gilbert. what they say when we're together and watch how you play no publishing on this <laughs> they don't understand and so we're running, we're running just, just as fast as we can just stay with them Bill. <laughs> holding <laughs> on to one another's hand <laughs> trying to get away into the night and then you put your arms around me and then you tumble to the ground and then you say Because I 